For centuries, we've looked up at the stars, our minds buzzing with questions about where it all began. Picture this. A vast, dark canvas dotted with twinkling lights, each one a story waiting to unfold. In the 1900s, brilliant minds came up with the Big Bang Theory, this explosive idea that the universe burst into existence from a single point, expanding ever since. It was revolutionary, explaining how galaxies formed, how space stretches out like an inflating balloon. But even the best theories have cracks, right? Over time, we've uncovered puzzles that don't quite fit, leaving scientists scratching their heads and rethinking everything. Fast forward to today, and we're in an era of mind-blowing discoveries. Take NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It's like having a time machine pointed at the cosmos. In 2023, it spotted something that turned heads worldwide. A star that seems older than the universe itself. Yeah, you heard that right. How can a star outlive the very fabric of reality it's born from? It's like finding a dinosaur bone that's supposedly from before the Earth existed. This isn't just a glitch. It's a challenge to our core understanding of time, space, and creation. Scientists are buzzing. Could this mean we need a whole new blueprint for the universe? Or is it a clue that our clocks are off? We're diving deep into this enigma, unpacking the science, the theories, and what it means for us tiny humans on a pale blue dot. Let's zoom in on this cosmic rebel, a star called HD 140283, but everyone calls it Methuselah, after that biblical guy who lived forever. It's hanging out about 200 light years away, near the constellation Libra. What makes it special? First off, it's zooming through space at a wild 44,283 kilometers per hour. That's not just fast, it's a hint at a dramatic backstory. Imagine a billion years ago, our Milky Way galaxy swallowed up a smaller dwarf galaxy in a massive cosmic merger. Methuselah was probably born there, flung out like a survivor from a galactic wreck. But speed is just the appetizer. The real jaw-dropper is its age. Early guesses pegged it at 16 billion years old, but refined calculations say 14.46 billion, give or take 800 million years. Now, hold on to the universe, according to our best estimates from cosmic microwave background radiation, is only 13.8 billion years old. So. How's this star chilling like it's got seniority over everything? This paradox hits like a plot twist in a sci-fi thriller. If the universe kicked off with the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, nothing should predate that. Yet here's Methuselah, winking at us as if to say, you sure about that? It forces us to question our tools for measuring time in the stars. Aging a star isn't like counting rings on a tree. It's tricky business. Stars like our sun can look the same for eons, burning steady without much change. Astronomers play detective with clues like brightness shifts, color variations, and how they compare to computer models of stellar life cycles. One cool trick is gyrochronology. Basically, stars spin slower as they age, like a top winding down from friction with their own magnetic fields. By clocking a star's rotation and matching it to known patterns, we get an age estimate. Methuselah spins slow, screams ancient, and stands as the oldest star we've reliably dated. But instead of shrugging it off as an outlier, what if it's whispering that the universe is older than we think? Let's stretch our minds here. Wrapping your head around 13.8 billion years is tough. It's not just big, it's incomprehensible. If we squish the universe's timeline into a single year, the Big Bang is January 1 Estes fireworks. Planets like Earth don't show up until late December, and human history? Blink and miss it the last few seconds of New Year's Eve. We figure this age from light echoes of the early universe, that leftover glow called the cosmic microwave background. As space expands, distant light stretches redder redshift, and by measuring that plus galaxy distances, we crunch the numbers. But wait, plot thickens. Fresh research from the University of Ottawa shakes things up. Professor Rajendra Gupta and his team crunched data suggesting the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Double the age. How? They blend old ideas with new twists. Back in 1929, Fritz Zwicky floated tired light theory. Light losing energy over vast distances, not just from expansion. Gupta mixes that with evolving constants, like Paul Dirac's notion that nature's fundamental forces tweak over time. 
redshift, then, isn't purely from stretching space. It's a combo of expansion and photons fatiguing on their epic journeys. This flips the script, explaining why we see mature galaxies way back in time. Stuff the James Webb telescope keeps spotting that looks too formed for a young universe. James Webb is the hero here, peering deeper than ever, capturing galaxies from when the universe was supposedly a toddler but looking oddly grown up. Gupta's model fits these like a glove, resolving tensions in cosmology's standard model. And hey, this isn't the first rewrite. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was a mere 2 billion years old. Earth's rocks are older than that. We've upped it step by step as tech improves. So, if Gupta's right, our cosmic calendar stretches longer, making human existence an even tinier blip. But that's the thrill science isn't set in stone. It's a living, breathing quest. These ideas spark debates, push boundaries, and who knows? Tomorrow's data might confirm or flip it again. Shifting gears closer to home, our Milky Way's got its own mysteries brewing. Recent peaks from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite reveal stars on the galaxy's edges moving slower than they should. Compare that to other galaxies, and it's like our stars are dragging their feet. Why? Two wild possibilities. Either the Milky Way skimps on dark matter, that invisible glue holding galaxies together, or our whole grasp on dark matter is wonky. Dark matter's the shadowy stuff, five times more abundant than regular matter, inferred from gravity's pull without showing up in light. Guy is a game changer, mapping nearly two billion stars with pinpoint accuracy. It tracks positions, speeds, distances, like a 3D GPS for the galaxy. Star speeds clue us into total mass, Faster orbits mean more gravity, more mass. A fresh study using Gaia data pegs the Milky Way at 200 trillion solar masses, huge, but five times lighter than old guesses. That drop? Likely less dark matter than thought. But mass estimates are slippery. Data glitches or analysis tweaks could explain it. Still, it's got astronomers hyped, probing further with simulations and observations. Dark matters enigmatize into bigger questions like why the universe expands at accelerating rates, thanks to dark energy. Imagine the implications. If dark matter's scarcer here, does that make our galaxy unique? Or rewrite physics? We're on the cusp of answers with telescopes like Webb and Gaia feeding us data gold. But let's not stop at facts. Think about the wonder. Staring at the night sky, knowing these ancient lights traveled billions of years to reach your eyes, it's humbling. Methuselah's light left when Earth was forming, carrying secrets of a bygone era. And if the universe is twice as old, imagine the untold stories in that extra time. Galaxies birthing, black holes merging, life evolving elsewhere. To make this personal, consider how these discoveries echo human curiosity. From cave dwellers sketching constellations to today's rocket launches,